Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to the Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Tayo po ngayon ay nasa ikalimang linggo sa panahon ng Pasko ng Pagkabuhay. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <clears throat> I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Saul joins the disciples in Jerusalem. Despite Barnabas' testimony, Saul is met with fear and doubt. Because of a death threat, he is sent away to Tarsus. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. Then Barnabas took charge of him and brought him to the apostles, and he reported to them how he had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken to him and how in Damascus he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with them in Jerusalem, and he spoke out boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and devoted with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea, and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord, and with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in numbers. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will fulfill my vows 
before those who fear the Lord. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise Him. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before Him. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. To Him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. Before him shall bend all who go down into the dust. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. And to him my soul shall live, my descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord that they may proclaim to a people, yet to be born the justice he has shown. The Christian community will always be known by love. It is by love that it remains in intimate union with God. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before Him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from Him whatever we ask, because we give His commandments and do what pleases Him. And His commandment is this, we should believe in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ and love one another just as He commanded us. Those who keep His commandments remain in Him and He in them. And the way we know that He remains in us is from the Spirit He gave us. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. Is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes, so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you, can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. 
whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang kahulugan po ng ating buhay ay nakasalalay kung saan o kung kanino natin ito iniuugnay. Mga minamahal na kapatid sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, dito po sa ating simbahan sa Manawag, eh, meron tayong tinatawag na Jubilee Door. Diyan po kayo pumasok kanina. Nandurong po sa may bandang kanan. Dito po sa Archdiocese ng Linggay Dagupan, siyam na simbahan po ang meron Jubilee Door na kung saan pwede tayong mag-pilgrimage. Dadalawin natin isa-isa. Anong kahalagahan ng Jubilee Door? Ang salitang Jubilee ay galing po sa tang Jubel na ibig sabihin po ay trompeta. Sa lumang tipan, ginagamit ang trompeta sa pagdiriwang, sa pagbubunyi. At ano naman ang ipinagdiriwang noong unang panahon? Ito po ay ang kalang paglaya sa pagkaalipin o ang paglaya sa pagkakautang. Sinasabi noong unang panahon, ang lipunan ay pantay-pantay ang mga mamamayan. Subalit kapag kalumilipas ang maraming taon, yung iba'y nagkakaroon ng pagkakautang, maaring nagipit, isasangla ang lupain, isasangla ang bahay, kung minsan maging ang sarili ay sinasangla, nagiging alipin. At nang makita ito ng Panginoong Diyos, sabi niya hindi maganda. Kaya dapat every seven years, or every 25 years, or 50 years, dapat ay ibabalik natin sa dati ang kalakaran. Yung mga merong pagkakautang, dapat ay papatawarin. At yung pinagkakautangan naman, dapat matutong magpalaya. Palayain mo yung alipin mo, palayain mo yung patawarin mo, yung nagkakautang sa'yo. Huwag mo nang pagbayarin ang spirit ng Jubilee. Kaya nga naman kapag ka nagkapantay-pantay uli, isang napakalaking pagdiriwang, hindi po ba? Kaya nga naman sa pagpasok natin sa Jubilee Door, parang sinasabi sa atin na magkaibigan uli tayo, kinikilala kita, kinikilala ko ang iyong pagkatao, anak ka ng Diyos. Pero higit sa lahat, ang pintuan ay nagsasabi sa atin o nagpapaalala sa atin ng bagong oportunidad sa buhay. Marahil, kung ano man po ang narating ninyo sa buhay nito, kung ating babalikan, ang dahilan ay sapagkat may mga taong nagbukas sa atin ng pintuan. Binigyan tayo ng oportunidad. Una na nating alalahanin ang ating mga magulang. Ang ating mga magulang ang nagbukas ng ating isipan, nagbukas ng iba't ibang pintuan pang sa ganoon magkaroon tayo ng karir matutot tayo sa buhay nito magkaroon ng hanap buhay maaring ang nagbukas ng pintuan sa inyo ay inyong boss maaring ang nagbukas ng pintuan sa inyo ay inyong mga kaibigan kung minsan kahit simpleng tao lamang di mo sukat akalain bubukas sa iyong pintuan pagkatapos ay nagiging successful ka na unti-unti, narating mong yung pangarap kung ano man ang kinalalagyan mo ngayon. Sa ating unang pagbasa, si Barnabas ang nagbukas ng pintuan kay San Pablo. Patungo doon sa Jerusalem, ayaw tanggapin sa umpisa ng mga Kristiyano ni San Pablo sapagkat kilala siya na nagpe-persecute. Noong unang panahon, siya ang pumapatay doon sa mga Kristiyano. Pero nung siya ay na-convert, gusto niyang makasama 
Kaya yung mga Kristiyan at mga alagad, pero natatakot no, yung mga alagad. Ang ginawa ni Barnabas, siya nag-introduce kay St. Paul doon sa community sa Jerusalem. At siya naman ay tinanggap. Si Barnabas ang nagbukas sa kanya ng pintuan. At mula noon, makikita natin na San Pablo nangangaral na sa iba't ibang mga bayan-bayan ng napakahusay, napakagaling, nalagpasan pa niya yung taong nagbukas sa kanya ng pintuan. May mga taong ganyan din po sa buhay natin. Hindi inaalala o hindi natatakot o hindi nangangamba. Dako kung bubuksan ko ang pintuan nito, baka malagpasan pa ako nito. Mas ma-promote pa siya kaysa sa akin. Mas sisikat pa siya kaysa sa akin. May mga taong katulad ni Barnabas sa buhay natin. Binibigyan tayo ng oportunidad. Ang pintuan ay binubukas sa atin upang ma-develop tayo. Sa Ebanghelyo, tinatawag po ng ating Panginoong Isokristo ang kanyang saril na pintuan. Pintuan ng buhay kung saan tayo dapat pumasok. Pero hindi lamang siya nagbukas ng pintuan. Ako mismo ang pintuan, ang sabi ng ating Panginoong Isokristo, nasa sa kanyang iba't ibang oportunidad sa buhay. Ngayong linggo, mas pinaganda pa ng ating Panginoong Isokristo ang ugnayan natin sa Kanya sapagkat ang sabi niya, I am the vine and you are the branches. Ako ang puno ng ubas at kayo ang mga sanga. Mas malapit po, mas closer ang relasyon sapagkat katulad marahil ng kamay natin, iisa pero maraming daliri, pero ang isang pinaglalagyan, napakalapit sa ating Panginoong Isokristo. At dahil tayo na sa ating Panginoong Isokristo, sabi niya, dapat kayong mamunga sapagkat kayo mismo'y nakadikit sa akin. Meron pong isang kwento. Nabasa ko lamang naman itong kwentong ito tungkol sa isang mama na nakapulot ng itlog ng agila. Nung inapulot niyang itlog ng agila, kanyang inilagay sa pugad ng manok para malimliman at mapisa. At ganun nga po nangyari kasama ng itlog ng mga manok, nanduro ng itlog ng agila, pagdating ng takdang panahon, napisa, kasama niya ng agila mga sisiw, lumaking kasama ang mga manok. Kung anong ginagawa ng mga manok, yun din ang kanyang ginagawa. Kumakahig, kumakahig ng dumi, kinakain ng dumi, mga insektong kinakain. At kapag ka lumilipad, kung gaano kataas yung lipad ng manok, Ganun lang din ang kataas ang lipad ng agila. Hanggang sa siya'y tumanda na, minsan kausap niya yung kanyang kapatid na manok, nakita nila sa ulap ang isang agila, napakatayog ng lipad. Tang sabi ng bat, agila, no? eh ano yun? Sabi ng manok, eh, eh agila yun. Matayog ang lipad niyan. Yan ang hari ng mga ibon tang sabi niya, ay, gusto ko rin maging ganun. Sana ganun din tayo. Sabi naman ng manok, naka po, huwag mo nang isipin yan. Huwag mo nang pangarapin yan. Hindi mo pwede yan. At tumanda yung agila na ganun nga, hindi niya na iniisip. Hanggang sa siya'y mamatay na hindi niya na-realize sa buhay niya kung ano yung tinadhana sa kanya ng Panginoong Diyos. Kung kanino natin iniuugnay ang ating sarili, ito rin nagtatakda ng ating buhay. Ito nagbibigay sa atin ng kahulugan. Iniugnay niya ang kanyang sarili sa manok. Ganun lang din kataas ang kanyang lipad. Ang ating Panginoong Kristo sinasabi sa ating ngayong linggo, iugnay ninyo ang sarili niyo sa akin sapagkat nasa sa akin ang buhay. Marami kayong magagawa kung kayo'y nananatili sa akin. Sa buhay nito, iba't ibang pinag-uugnayan natin sa ating sarili. Iba'y nakaugnay sa isang ideolohiya. Iba'y tinatag no, sa isang ideolohiya. Iba'y maaaring nakaugnay sa kanyang trabaho, maaaring sa kanyang posisyon, sa kanyang kasikatan, maaaring nakaugnay sa isang organisasyon, sa isang party, lahat po yan ay may kabutihan. Pero ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, 
meron ka pang pwedeng pag-ugnayan ng buhay mo na kung saan mararanasan mo ang isang buhay na ganap. Hindi lamang yon napakalimitado naman ang buhay natin. Kung iuugnay lamang natin sa isang bagay, sa akin mo iuugnay ang buhay mo, ang panawagan ng ating Panginoong Kristo sa kanyang ma- mga alagad. Maaring ang buhay natin, katulad daw ng misteryo ng rosaryo, Meron ng isang kwento na sabi ng isang ginang, alam niyo yung buhay ko bilang may asawa, parang misteryo ng rosaryo. No, ako'y kasalin, sabi niya ganun, nung kasalin ako'y joyful mystery, napakasaya. Na nagtagal ang aming pagsasama, natuklasan ko ng iba't ibang kahinaan at pagkukulang ng aking mister. Sabi niya, sorrowful mystery. Nung siya'y mamatay, glorious mystery ang sabi niya. At ngayon siya'y single na luminous mystery, misteryo ng liwanag. Sa buhay natin, paaring dumadaan po tayo sa iba't ibang misteryo. Madaling iugnay ang ating sarili, maaring sa Panginoon, kapag ka masarap ang buhay, kapag ka joyful, kapag ka glorious, no? Pero kapag ka sorrowful ang buhay natin, lalong-lalo na ngayon, nang na buhay natin ay may kalungkutan, merong bagyo, merong pinagdaraanan, nananawagan ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo sa ating lahat, manatili kay sa akin, kumapit kay sa akin, at makikita ninyo ang napakaraming bunga. Ang bunga ay maaaring simple lamang bilang isang Kristiyano. Yung tayo ngayon ay nagbabahaginan, Malaking bunga na po yun. Kung kayo ay nagsasalita ng words of hope sa mga kapatid natin na waring nawawala ng pag-asa, bunga na po yun. Kapag ka yung tenga natin ay nakikinig, lalo na sa mga kapatid natin, maaaring merong emotional need, psychological need, naghahanap ng kaibigan, naghahanap ng dadamay sa kanila, yung po'y pagiging mabunga na bilang isang Kristiyano. Panalangin po natin ang isa't isa na nawa sa kabila ng mahigpit na pagsubok na ito. Tayo po'y manatili sa ating Panginoong Isokristo. Yugnay po natin ang ating sarili sa Kanya, sa ating Panginoong Isokristo. Batid po natin ng buhay natin anumang pagdaanan. Ito po'y magiging wagas at tiyak na magiging makahulugan. Please all stand. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered their Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come again to judge the living the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we affirm our faith in Jesus our Lord, we thank our Heavenly Father and ask Him to fill us with His choicest blessings. We pray, Father, make us grow in Your love. Father, make us grow in your love. Keep the church in your love. Guide and protect all church leaders. And make your people a leaven in the transformation of the world. We pray. Father, make us grow in your love. Bless all families with your strength and love. With your joy and peace. With health and laughter. We pray. Father, make us grow in your love. Grant that the sick and the lonely, those in bondage and those in exile, receive consolation and help. We pray. Father, make us grow in your love. Embrace our departed loved ones into your loving arms, for being with you is their true home. We pray. Father, make us grow in your love. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We 
we pray. Father, make us grow in your love. Heavenly Father, give us all the joyful reassurance that you are always with us through your Son, Jesus our Lord. Grant that we may never be separated from you, so that you may bear much fruit for your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
We are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis is assistant bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. Let us pray with confidence in the Father in the words of Lord Jesus Christ taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His Supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Linga in the Gupan. Let us answer together. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your Son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Mary, help of Christians. We place all our young men under your motherly protection, inspire them to serve the church as priest of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilican Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag at sa inyo pong pakikisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass ascended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of your rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.